And now it's time to enjoy a splash of color. More than 400 paintings have been submitted from members of the Virginia Watercolor Society. They're excited about their upcoming exhibition that kicks off today. Recently, Jessica spoke to representatives of the event and here's that conversation. Delighted to be joined today by two incredibly talented artists. Dr. Sally Gwynn is with us representing the Virginia Watercolor Society and Beverly Perdue is with us as well. Artist and past president and former Virginia Watercolor Show award winner, best in show. So let's give a round of applause to both ladies. It's nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. This is an incredibly exciting time, ladies. We were talking before we got started, the Virginia Watercolor Society, uh, the show returns this year. It's the 41st exhibition and show returning to Richmond. And this is a big deal because the show visits many locations throughout the Commonwealth, but being back in Richmond only happens about once every 10 years. Yeah, that's right. right. It, it's a big deal to the artists because it's here in Richmond, um, but it, we have artists participating in the show, sending their paintings in from all over the state that have been selected. It is, it is a juried show, meaning that each piece, there were what, Beverly, over 400 submissions? Yeah, there were 400. And our juror, Fred Graff, who is a renowned watercolorist, um, now internationally known, is our juror. And he had to make a, disc, a cut from 400 paintings to... 79 are in the show and um, so that was quite a task in and of itself and we just had all the paintings delivered this past weekend and seeing them in person is amazing yeah and we're also really very, yeah we're very excited that the show will be in the um at the virginia historical and cultural center and our gallery space is 2500 square feet so we have lots and lots of room and wonderful lighting and the museum has just gone out of their way to help us. The Virginia Museum of History and Culture is right there on Arthur Ashe Boulevard. So it's, you know, and there's plenty of parking in the back, but the gallery inside where these paintings are, are going to be presented for you to walk in and look at is the Virginia Sergeant Reynolds Gallery with all the technical lighting, the ambiance. I mean, it's first class. It's going to be an extraordinary presentation of some wonderful art. So we're really, really excited about it. As you should be. It's a huge undertaking to organize a juried show like this. That's an incredibly big deal. Certainly, Beverly, as winner of the Best in Show Award of this, you understand the prestige of being included in a juried program like this. And it was interesting in talking with you before we got started today, ladies, that this event is not virtual. So in this world that we're in today, this is happening and folks will be able to go to the Virginia Museum of History and Culture and observe these paintings in person. Yes, we're yeah. very pleased. We're very pleased with that because there's one thing looking online, but to actually participate and see the paintings in person. Yeah. And one feature that we're doing this to involve the public when they come we're going, the show will be up for two months. It opens Halloween, October 31st to January 31st. And we will, the judge will select 26 award winners. And then we have one award called the People's Choice Award. And that means when you walk into the gallery, you get to select your favorite painting. And we will have a box and we will have a note card for you to fill out. And at the end of the show, the People's Choice Award will be given to whomever that artist is. And I think that really engages the public when you come in because you have to make a selection. You are the juror. And we find that is um, very engaging and uh, good for participation. So you, you need to go in person to do that though. Well, it is an incredible undertaking. And in the time that we have left today, Sally and Bev, this really is fantastic that the watercolor Virginia Watercolor Society was able to organize this show. Did you have a moment at all where you said, we might have to push pause, and then you push through that to make sure that the show would go on? I think the question should be maybe, did you have 
moments. <laughs> because we went from moment to moment to moment because things, of course, are, you know, they're changing as we go forth and how we ha can best protect and make it safe as well as an extraordinary show. And so the committee of 10 um, that here in Richmond that have worked on planning this um, fabulous show um, through the end of December, um, have, have we've gone by all of the museums, strict Virginia Hist uh, Museum of History and Cultures, you know, strict things, the spacing, the social distancing, the mask wearing, um, all of it. Um, and then managing how many people actually are in the gallery at one time. Um, so it's, it's been, and you know, the, the, the idea came up, should we have it, remember Bev, should we have it virtual as, or just have it right in person? And we said, no, we're no. gonna be careful. We're gonna be, and those that, that can't attend, we understand, right. but there are a lot of people that are just frothing at the bit to get in there and see this fabulous show that's once again in Richmond. Well, you know, I think that people really want, they're, they're they're so tired of being not being able to get out. And this yeah. is a cultural event. It's also the museum is right next to the Virginia Muse, the VMFA, right next door. You can walk to both museums in five minutes. So I think that people want to get out. They want to see the real thing. Yeah. Um, they get, they're get housebound. And, you know, winter's coming. And we really need a little culture and activity. So, um, and, and one thing, everyone remembers Bev Reynolds. She had Reynolds Gallery. Bev Reynolds once stated that watercolor is the hardest of all the mediums. And watercolor is the hardest of all the mediums because it's very unforgiving. And when we say watercolor, it's any water medium, acrylic on paper, as long as you're painting on paper and the medium is water, whether it's acrylic, watercolor, mixed media, that's the criteria. So you will see a real variety of the usage of watercolor in the show. So don't forget Look, to come. <laughs> well, yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you so much for making time today. Thank yeah. you so much, Thank Jessica. You. It's been yeah. a pleasure. The Virginia Watercolor Society's 41st exhibition and show kicks off October 30th, continuing through December 31st at the Virginia Museum of History and Culture. We'll be sure to share all the information on WTDR.com slash VTM so that you can discover more and plan your visit.